pretty famous YouTuber that's made a lot of money now being accused by the federal authorities of heading a massive digital piracy. But look, Shep, these charges are so serious. If he's convicted, he could spend decades. I knew you was doing something wrong. I knew you was a scam. I knew you was- Yeah, but meanwhile, they're there. They were here. They were at every location you could think of. Millions of dollars out of all my accounts. They took all the cash that I had laying around. They took all my jewelry. They took all my kids' things. They took Xboxes. They took computers. Famous YouTuber from New Jersey, Omi in a Hellcat, got himself in a real pickle. The FBI busted him and charged him with being part of one of the biggest illegal pirate networks in TV history. He's been sentenced to five and a half years in prison, and on top of that, he's got to pay $30 million in fines. But how did it all happen? How did he go from being a beloved YouTuber to a hated scammer? 34-year-old Bill Omar Carrasquillo, known as Omi and a Hellcat, was growing up in a rough neighborhood in Philadelphia as one of 38 children. His mother had passed away due to an overdose when he was a child, and his father was a dealer who forced young Omar to sell and produce substances. Because of this, the boy's education ended in the 11th grade as he ended up in prison for his involvement in the drug trade. Taking all of this into consideration, it was clear that he desperately wanted to change his life to finally earn real money that would allow him to experience a better life. So it all began with an idea that struck Omar and his partners, Jesse Gonzalez, Pico Rivera, and Michael Barone. One day, they came up with the idea to sell fire sticks, but not just any fire sticks. For a one-time payment, they promised access to thousands of movies, TV shows, cable channels, and whatever else you desired. If you're not sure how it works, let us break it down for you. The Cody Fire Stick scam involves modifying Amazon Fire TV sticks with Cody software and selling them preloaded with third-party add-ons that allow users to stream copyrighted content for free. Exactly, Omar would buy Fire Sticks on Amazon for as low as, let's say, $17 and sell them initially for $50. Later on, he kept raising the price, eventually selling them for $100 and $130 each. He quickly realized that this business was generating much higher profits than he had ever expected. Scammers advertise these fully loaded fire sticks as a way to cut cable costs and access unlimited content. Although Cody is legal open source software, these add-ons often provide access to pirated movies, TV shows, and live sports without proper licensing. There is no surprise for anyone that this practice violates copyright laws and harms content creators and copyright holders. Omar and his partners didn't feel guilty at all. They didn't think they were doing anything wrong. In fact, when the money from this business seemed to dry up, Carrasquillo came up with something even more outrageous. This move catapulted him from earning millions annually to earning a million dollars weekly. According to the 69-page indictment, in the years 2016 through 2019, Omar and his partners ran an illegal streaming service under various names like Reboot, Gears TV, Reloaded, and Gears Reloaded. This service offered subscribers comprehensive access to content from providers like Comcast, Verizon Fios, DirecTV, HBO, and more, all for just $15 a month. This means that Omar purchased access to major streaming platforms once and then shared all their resources, practically limitless movies, TV shows, and sports for only $15 a month. Considering that HBO alone costs up to $20 monthly, getting access to everything for $15 seemed like an incredible deal for customers. Due to the affordable price, Gears TV in particular became incredibly popular. Prosecutors claim that the thieves easily collected over $30 million from subscription fees for these illegal streams. Upon becoming a billionaire, Omar started his YouTube career, showcasing his wealth, homes, and cars. But behind the glitz and glam, his life wasn't going well at all. 
Beneath the facade of prosperity, he concealed a very sad reality. He battled depression and lived in constant fear that someone would come and take away everything he had worked so hard for. It becomes clear that all those Lamborghinis, Bentleys, and gold around his neck we saw in his vlogs and photos came from a life of crime. After a while, he even openly discussed on YouTube how he earned such a fortune. This openness caught the attention of the FBI, leading them to keep a close eye on him. But this case is far from straightforward and has many more twists and turns than you might think. Before we dive into those juicy details, we want to remind you to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching us. Let's get back to the case. With over 800,000 followers on YouTube and a million more on Instagram, 34-year-old Bill Omar Carrasquillo had it all. A stunning collection of luxury high-end cars that turned heads, many properties, and loads of cash. But it didn't last long because the FBI stormed Carrasquillo's house on the morning of November 27, 2019, seizing his cars, jewelry, and money from his bank account. Then, on September 21, 2021, he was indicted by the FBI on 62 charges, including 19 counts of public performance of copyrighted work and 6 counts of electronic fraud. However, what's most surprising is that he continued to maintain his innocence, insisting he had done nothing wrong despite the mounting evidence against him. From his mouth, we kept hearing excuses claiming it was a legal business that anyone could have and profit from. Even his lawyer held the same opinion. Omar had reached a point where he started claiming that the FBI couldn't charge him because he had purchased access to all those channels, allowing him to do whatever he pleased with his subscription, including sharing it with others. When his arguments ran out, his defense strategy included highlighting his difficult childhood. He spoke about his past in that extremely dysfunctional family, where abuse and poverty were a daily occurrence. This heartbreaking story might indeed evoke sympathy, making some people believe that someone like Omar should be treated with leniency. And that's precisely what happened. Despite Omar stealing from some of the world's largest streaming companies and practically building his entire life and wealth on the theft of someone else's hard work, he isn't widely hated on the internet. Just take a look at his shoe collection. Those are one-to-one -one replicas of Jordans. It seems that people might not fully realize yet that piracy is theft and should be punished accordingly. In the latest updates on the case, the YouTuber pled guilty in February 2022. He was sentenced to five and a half years in prison, and on March 8, 2023, he was fined a whopping $30 million under charges of conspiracy, copyright infringement, fraud, money laundering, and tax evasion. His cars were auctioned off, and his jewelry was sold in an online auction. What is your opinion on this case? Let us know in the comments below, and if you enjoy our content, Click here to watch our other episodes about internet scams.